Hello! Going to attach my website. How's everybody doing? Happy hump day. Okay, I attached my website. For those of you watching and anything you see and want to check up on, you can just click on my website and check it out for yourself. All right, how's everybody doing? Don't be afraid to say hi. I might have to swipe the comments aside so I stay focused on what I want to say. And then I can always just read the, what are you doing? Read the um, comments here in a little bit. What are you doing? I just got home and he's all excited. You're all excited. All right. So, like I said, I'm going to talk carrier oils. And you're probably wondering, well, what are carrier oils? Well, when you use essential oils, topically on your skin. Um, not all of them require dilution with a carrier oil. Um, there's a lot of them that do not. But for extra sensitive skin and for children, it's advised to use a carrier oil. So I have all kinds of oils here and I did my research off of Google. The information I'm going to give you on the carrier oils not going to be from Young Living website, okay, or Young Living itself. All right. Okay, so we got some people watching. Good. Thanks for tuning in. All right. So, so carrier oils are what you dilute the essential oils um, with if you want to use them topically. I recently have started making my own face serums. Um, I've also started making my own household cleaners. Um, I made my own detergent, laundry detergent today because I'm out of my thieves laundry detergent and I have to order more. But I'm not going to stop doing laundry until it gets here. And I'm not going to buy this stuff in the store because it's got hidden chemicals and harmful toxins in it and I don't want any part of that on my clothing. So, let's talk. The first one I'm going to show you is grapeseed oil. Okay? And it says right on there, 100% pure, hair, skin, and nails. Now, you can get this in most um, stores, you know, like Walmart, Walgreens, um, or Amazon. I order a lot of mine off of Amazon. And grapeseed oil is easily absorbed into the skin. Um, it's used for facial serums and it's also used a lot with massage oils for massage. It's got a sweet aroma. It's kind of balsamic and it kind of smells like aged wine. Okay. Cause after all it's from grapes, grapeseed. And what I like about grapeseed oil is if you have a problem with clogged pores or anything like that, um, the chance of it clogging pores is very low. Grapeseed oil is very good for your skin and it does not clog your pores, okay? So my guess is people with oily skin would probably benefit from using grapeseed oil. All right, so there's that one. Grapeseed oil is an inflammatory and antioxidant, antibacterial, and it's hydrating. Um, it's beneficial to the skin, and it's the most used carrier oil other than coconut oil. Coconut oil is another popular one. Um, it moisturizes dry, dry flaky skin. Um, it contains vitamin E, and it's also and vitamin E is like an anti-aging agent, a natural anti-aging agent. And you can make products. You can use this on your lips. Um, under eyes, you can make body scrubs out of it, body butters, etc., etc., shaving cream, stuff like that. So, grapeseed oil. There you go. And if you go to Pinterest, there's all kinds of 
homemade remedies, homemade, not remedies, but um, how to make your own products, like your facial products, your hair products, um, hygiene products, stuff like that. Um, you can even use these carrier oils when you make your own little roller balls, you know, for to help with um, anxiety or to help calm you, anything like that. You can use any of these oils that I'm showing you right now. Let me look at some of the comments, see if there's anybody commenting. Hi, Jennifer Kudo. How are you? All right. So grapeseed oil is very good to use. My personal favorite, because I'm 54 and I have aging skin, I like using organic. Now you can cook with this. It's the same stuff you can cook with that's going to benefit your skin. Okay, 100% um, organic extra virgin olive oil. All right, I like olive oil because I like what it does. Um, my texture of my skin has greatly improved. Seriously, I'm not lying. And I will show you how I make my serum. But I'm just showing you the different carrier oils that you can use if it interests you in doing one for yourself. So olive oil can be used in hair, skin, um, cuticles. The Greeks and the ancient Greeks and Egyptians um, for thousands of years have used olive oil in their recipes and on their skin. Um, it's moisturizing, it's an antioxidant, it can repair damaged skin, and it can prevent damage by free radicals. Um, it contains vitamin E and omega-9 fatty acids. It penetrates deep into the skin. It goes deep. That's what you want when you're older. You want moisture deep in your skin, okay? Improves texture over time, that it did. And it also lightens and brightens if you continue to use it, all right? Um, olive oil is used a lot. Um, it can help in healing or assisting in the healing of acne. Now I got all this information off of Google. Um, burns, it's rich in squalene. I don't know what that is. And um, it can help with fine lines and wrinkles and it also will not clog your pores. So I like using olive oil for my facial products. And for those of you that don't know, I have recently started taking Olive Essentials, and it's a pill that in one pill you get a whole liter of olive oil because you're not going to drink a whole liter of olive oil a day. I mean, that's blech, okay? But in the capsule, it's equivalent to a liter, so it's good for your heart, it's good for your skin, it's good for you. Olive oil has been proven good for you. The Mediterranean diet contains a lot of olives and olive oil. Everything's cooked in olive oil and it's very, very nutritional and heart healthy. All right, so that's everything on olive oil. Okay, it's not just for cooking, people. <laughs> All right, and another one. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Jehovah, Jehovah or Jehovah? I'm not sure. Um, this is certified organic. I got it off of Amazon. And this oil is the closest thing to your skin's natural oils, okay? So if you have oily skin, I would, I would recommend olive oil or Jehovah oil if you have oily skin because this is the closest thing to your skin's natural oils. Um, it's soothing and it helps reduce excess oil production. So if you have oily skin, definitely, definitely use this. It contains vitamin A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, and it can hydrate without moisture. So it's very, very good. It's very lightweight. You can use it as a makeup remover. You can make it a face serum, a moisturizer, not a moisturizer because 
it hydrates without moisture. So if you're looking for something like a night cream or something a little thicker, creamier, this is not what you would use, okay? So yeah, I like this. I'm gonna try this. And this is good stuff. Cold pressed, unrefined, chemical free, lightweight, fast absorbing. For hair, face, body, all skin types, cruelty free, vegan, and bottled in the USA. You can get this off of Amazon. It's Cleganic. All right, so there's Jehovah or Jehovah. There you go. I'm sure I'll get corrected. <laughs> I hope I do, because I don't know how to pronounce it. All right, next, almond oil. Now, it's very important if you have any kind of nut allergy not to use this on your skin. Okay, because almond is a nut, so you don't want that on your skin. But it is considered the most beneficial, apparently, of all the oils. Um, it can help give you flawless skin. Um, mixed with sandalwood, that would be good for dry skin. Um, for fine lines and wrinkles, frankincense you can mix with this. Uh, for glowing, healthy looking skin, lavender is known to help with that. And dark spots, you can use lemon oil. Lemon has been known to help dark spots fade. People used to use it on their freckles back in the day. Um, excellent moisturizer, contains vitamin E. Um, South Asia, Turkey, India, ancient um, Chinese used to use a lot of almond oil. So yes, very, very good if you need added moisture, like a lot of moisture, it's good to use. All right, next we have sunflower oil, okay? Sunflower oil is used in a lot of baby products, okay? It's really mild um, and it's soothing. It helps with irritated skin, redness, scarring, and eczema. Um, it's hydrating, it contains vitamin E, vitamin A, C, and D. Um, it can help fight acne causing bacteria and it could be used as a toner so sunflower oil is very very good and it's also used in hair products so any of these oils you could use on your hair too and I'm just gonna get more and more into that there's so many different ways that you can use essential oils um, and they go a long way like today I made a laundry detergent okay I used I think it was like a half a cup of baking soda, six tablespoons of, oh, I can't remember the name of the oil that I bought, um, or soap that I bought. It was organic, pure soap. And all I did was add about 30 drops of essential oil. Um, I used lavender. I also like um, geranium. I like the smell of that too. But, and then I filled the rest up with really, really hot water and stirred, and I made a gallon. I made a gallon of laundry, liquid laundry soap today, just doing that. So, and it works. I just did a couple loads of clothes <laughs> earlier, so it works. So you don't need to spend a lot of money. Our essential oils go a long way. Um, I'm not sure how many drops are in a 15 milliliter bottle, like a big one like this but there's a lot of them, okay? There could be 90 drops in here. I don't know, 90 to 100 for sure. All right, so that's sunflower oil. And then we also like to mix our oils with um, pure organic witch hazel sometimes. Witch hazel is very beneficial to the skin too. It can be used as a skin toner, reduces puffiness, um, and it helps preserve elasticity. Um, it can also help improve acne, rashes, eczema, signs of aging. Um, like mix it with 15 drops of tea tree. That would be very good for acne. Acne, um, tea tree helps promote um, clearing acne. Tea tree is very good. You'll find tea tree oil in a lot of skin products. And it's very soothing after shaving, or you can even use it after exposure to the sun. So it will help cool your sunburn, okay? 
So there's Witch Hazel. So those are all the different, and then we have vitamin E, of course, which we all know is beneficial to our skin. Okay, it's very important to get vitamin E into your skin. All right, so those are all the different oils. We also have coconut oil. And I thought coconut oil was the most used oil, but apparently not. Um, I must not have wrote anything down for coconut oil, seriously. Okay, coconut oil is another one that um, helps with when like heavy moisturizer is needed. Very moisturizing. Um, it's used in a lot of beauty products, coconut oil. If you have dry, flaky skin, that will help. Um, also contains vitamin E. Also has an anti-aging um, agent. In it, I mean, I thought this was the most favored oil, but it is not. I guess the most favored oil is almond oil for some reason. Almond oil and grape seed oil. But I like mixing this with lavender, not the um, fractionated, which stays liquid. I like the pure coconut oil that's that's thick. Um, and what I like to do with that is I like to melt it in a double boiler. I like to melt that down and I like to add a little bit of vitamin E to it. And then I like to add some lavender to that. And then you whip it all up, mix it all up really good. And then you put it in an airtight container. And then when it, it cools, it thickens up and it looks like a, a balm, you know, um, like a lip balm or a salve and that's really good to use on your skin dry skin like your elbows and your hands um, and it smells delicious yeah you can make your own bath salts you can you can make your own shampoo you can do all kinds of things um, we have the internet and it's a wealth of information and Pinterest but make sure when you're looking up any recipes that you look up Young Living essential oil recipes because these are therapeutic grade oils and it's hard to be labeled therapeutic grade. You have to be certified 100% organic and pure to be therapeutic, okay? So, and we are recognized as therapeutic by the FDA, okay? So, they will recognize us as 100% therapeutic oil. So, let me show you how I make my facial serum. Anybody got any tree sap? I don't know anything about tree sap. Pretty sure tree sap is probably sticky. <laughs> Pretty sticky on your, on your skin might use that to like remove hair <laughs> that might work but you can buy these little amber bottles and they recommend amber bottles or um, cobalt blue bottle anything where the direct sunlight isn't going to affect or alter your essential oils your essential oils should be kept in a dry cool dark um, storage space and when you mix them with anything they should be in a amber bottle a darker bottle like this they don't have to be but they prefer them to be and you can get these off of amazon and they're really cheap you can get like i think i got 12 of them to a case and they come with a glass dropper okay and I'm going to use that for my facial serum. I'm going to show you how I make it. So you can get these little stainless steel funnels like so, so you don't make a mess. But they recommend using your oils, adding your oils first, and then you add the carrier oil. 
and then you just mix it up every time you go to use it mix it up and you can just put a little dropper full in your hand and apply it to wherever you, you want to apply it so I am going to add tea tree to my facial serum and this has also been used um, to help alleviate skin tags you know those little extra lumps of skin that you get <laughs> they're called skin tags this has also been known to help get rid of those um, it also assists in um, helping with acne blackheads um, it nourishes um, mix it with lavender it's good to help against inflammation and it promotes healing and it um, helps kill bacteria it's also used with eczema psoriasis um, and lavender is very good to use with tea tree tea tree and lavender are both very mild and frankincense are very mild mellow oils um, they usually don't make you break out when you use them directly on your skin. As a matter of fact, I like using Frank every once in a while on my wrinkles around my mouth and my eyes. Just don't get it in your eye. But for thousands of years, Middle Eastern women have used frankincense. Um, but extra sensitive skin requires dilution. And I want extra moisture, so I'm going to add these to my olive oil and that's what I'm using as a carrier oil all right so there's tea tree um, lavender of course dry skin helps with dark circles helps with um, alleviating wrinkles and you could add this to lemon to kind of help with um, acne um, yeah so I'm using tea tree and I'm using lavender and my good old Frank. Frankincense is my favorite oil out of all the oils. Lavender may be called the Swiss Army knife, but Frank is the king of oils. Frankincense can do so much. We have just scratched the surface with this. Read up on it. Google frankincense. All the different ways it can help your body, your skin, um, it's been used for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and we're now finally realizing maybe maybe all the things with all the fine print and all the side effects maybe that's not the way to go you know maybe that's not a hundred percent maybe it needs a little help with some natural organic add a little organic to your regimen see what happens um, frankincense king of oils it can help with cut scrapes um, it can help keep them safe from infection um, promotes faster healing um, it can be used as a disinfectant um, it's been used to help alleviate um, canker sores um, sensitive gums we're looking into, it's been used a lot um, to help um, fight against gum disease, tooth decay. Um, it can give you fresh breath. There really is a lot to look into with frankincense. It's used in all kinds of studies, med medicinal studies, medical studies going on. Um, wonderful, wonderful oil. And it's right at our fingertips. Um, helps protect from sun damage. It can help with even your skin tone over time. Um, sunspots um, improves the skin's elasticity. Um, and like I said, with tooth decay, um, gum disease, fresh breath, they're using this more and more. Um, also can help fight against plaque. And I'm going to look into some recipes for that on what to do because I'm all about that. I use my thieves toothpaste. I lose. I use my thieves toothpaste because on my thieves toothpaste it doesn't say in case of swallowing contact physician right away. Okay. 
No, it doesn't say that. Um, so I use my Thieves toothpaste with a drop of orange oil, and we all know the benefits of orange oil. Orange oil um, is used in furniture polish. It's used to take all that the stickiness, you know, when you get those little price tags you can't get off of your stuff, your glass that you buy, put some orange oil on there, comes right off. So if it does all that, I use Vitality Orange Oil, which is safe to ingest. Um, and I put a drop of that on my toothpaste and it gets rid of all the tea stains and the coffee stains that I have on my teeth. So yeah. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to add my oils first. So to a bottle this size, I am going to add five drops of frankincense. And it comes out really, really slow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And that's just five drops out of this whole bottle. So this is going to get a lot of use. Going to get a lot of use. And then I'm going to add five drops of my tea tree oil. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'm going to add my lavender. One, two, three, four, five. It smells so good already. And that's another thing. When you're adding this to your face, it's almost like aromatherapy at the same time. It smells so good and it's so calming. All right, so I have all my oils in there. So then I'm gonna put my little funnel on there and I'm gonna open up my olive oil. <laughs> and I'm gonna fill the rest of the way. And you can use any of the oils that I showed you, but I prefer olive oil because I have aging skin and I just like how it feels on my skin. All right. So then once you get that done, you just put the cap on and then you shake it up really good. And you're gonna have to shake it every time you use this, okay? And there you go. You can print out, there's cute little labels for things that you can get off of Etsy or you can design your own and put a little label on there. And you have an all natural serum that you can put on your face. Your skin is the largest organ on your body. And you do not want that organ sucking up all kinds of chemicals, um, fragrance, parfum, that they don't disclose what's in that. Those are man-made scents made in a lab. There's nothing natural in that, okay? It can consist of up to 300 different chemicals, but there's a loophole because big business doesn't want to give out their ingredients, their secret ingredients to the product. So the FDA allows them to just label all those chemicals that they made those scents with as parfum or um, fragrance. And if you ever get the chance to watch, it's on Netflix, it's called Stink. Watch it, look it up. Um, this man lost his wife and I'm pretty sure it was to breast cancer. And he's raising his two daughters. And it was Christmas time and he got this, I don't know, he ordered something online and it came and it just reeked. It just reeked. And he called up the company and wanted to know what made it reek like that. It's brand new in a bag and it just reeked. Well, it's full of chemicals. And nobody gave him a clear answer, so he dug a little deeper and he found all kinds of chemicals in the stuff that we buy that are approved sitting on the shelf that you purchase. And you're putting it into your body and you're putting it into your children's bodies. And I wish I would have known earlier in my life. I wish I would have wised up a lot earlier in my life. Um, 
all the chemicals in the cleaning products and the beauty products that I put on my, my face and on my children. So I started making my own and so far it's doing pretty good. My skin feels great and I feel great. So yeah, so if you have any questions on anything that I showed you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, feel free to contact me. Um, my Facebook page, my Young Living Facebook page is Savvy Living. Look it up, like my page. Um, all kinds of info. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on YouTube. Just look up Paula Chulson. And I am a Young Living independent distributor. And if you would like to get oily with me, just let me know and I can hook you up. And if you have any questions on anything, I'll be sure to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I can reach out to my upline who are very helpful, um, who have been with Young Living for 20 years plus, and they can answer questions if I can. I've been with them. It'll be three years in July. And I just started taking it seriously. I just started taking it seriously. And what really opened my eyes, I mean, I used them before, but really opened my eyes was that documentary, Stink. Really opened my eyes. So, and Google it. Google Parfum, P-A-R-F-U-M, or Google Fragrance. It's legal. They can legally do that. And there's toxins in there. So... I'm going to let you go. Happy hump day. I hope you guys have a wonderful, relaxing evening. I hope you're doing your, um, wrapping your presents and getting all your food ready and together with family celebrating all the holidays. And I hope you make healthy choices. And I'll talk to you again. Bye.